Good afternoon and happy Friday to everyone. Um, I just wanted to take this opportunity to share a few pieces of information with you, um, to share some real positives from our community and uh, also to thank you. I wanna thank our, our students, first of all. I wanna thank you for your dedication to continue learning in this time of, of distance learning and your commitment to doing your very best um, I know from talking with your teachers and hearing from them that um, they've enjoyed interacting with you, uh, certainly not as much as we do when we get to be face to face, but have appreciated the dedication that you've given um, to the learning that you're doing right now. I want to thank our parents. Um, parents, I know that this is a difficult time and um, we're trying to be sensitive to, to your needs as well. Uh, we know that you've got a lot on your plates as far as balancing your family and your, your homes and lives um, and also trying to support your students more than you normally do uh, in this virtual setting and we greatly appreciate that. Um, I want to thank our, our staff and administrators and uh, especially our faculty uh, for, for what you're doing. Um, the commitment that you've given to uh, staying connected with your kids and providing them ongoing learning opportunities um, to help them continue to move forward uh, in their learning. That is greatly appreciated. And, and I personally want to thank you for the, the can-do um, attitude that you all have shown uh, in making this work. And when things go awry, as they sometimes will, um, you've been willing to reflect and, and uh, figure out another way. And, and that's so appreciated, so thank you. And to our community and, and our board, uh, I'm very thankful for the support that you've given and, and um, that you've shown to, to everyone in the district uh, and the ways that we've come around uh, each other during this time, so thank you. So I wanted to just share a few updates with you uh, today, and then I wanted to share some really positive things that, that have been happening uh, in our district and our community. So first of all, um, I wanted to let you know that third marking period um, report cards for secondary students are now posted on Home Access Center. So if you haven't seen them yet and you are a secondary student, you can uh, access those in the Home Access Center. Um, also, just an encouragement, you know, while we're all finding routines, these new routines, um, we do know that there are still the daily stresses uh, that go along with this. And um, it's important to acknowledge that and the impact that social distancing can have and is having mm -hmm. on our emotional well being and our, and our psyches. Um, I want to encourage you to acknowledge those and um, talk about them and um, realize that they're normal. And a couple of things, just an encouragement, I know you've probably heard them before, but just a reminder is sometimes good. You know, practice good self-care. Don't let the stresses overwhelm you. Uh, stay connected. Keep up with those social connections with family and friends through social media, through phone calls or video chats. I know probably most of us are pretty tired of, of Zoom meetings and, and video conferencing, but um, they are important and we're very fortunate to have the technology that we can stay connected and make sure you do that. And most importantly, schedule time into your day to be off screen. Um, I know for some that may be hard because you're so used to being connected to your phone or, or your technology. But when we're doing that all the time, it is not good for our, our mental health and our well-being. So I really encourage you to shut it down, completely turn it off, whatever it may be, and get outside. Go outside just to, to take a walk or to sit outside. Um, I know the weather hasn't been the greatest, but bundle up and go out and get some fresh air. And instead of binge watching something, um, maybe try some binge reading, uh, even if it's just rereading a really good book that you've, you've read before. Um, get out those crayons and do some coloring. Uh, that can be very therapeutic. Do a puzzle, play a game, a board game, but do something that's not electronic, that's not connecting you uh, in any way such as that. And now I'd like to just give 
a few shout outs, some really good things that we can all celebrate. And I hope you'll join me in celebrating. First of all, our district was once again honored as being one of the best communities for music education designation from the NAM Foundation for its outstanding commitment to music education. That's a huge shout out to our students, to our music teachers, to our community for supporting and providing such high quality music education and arts education uh, in our district. Uh, and I thank you for that. Many districts don't have that opportunity um, to be able to provide such great music education and, and ours does, and we're, we're very thankful for that. So thank you music teachers uh, for all that you do. While I know it was a, a little bit of a disappointment for the uh, ice hockey team, I do want to congratulate them and, on being the co-champions of the 2020 Flyers Cup. Certainly not the way that I'm sure anyone uh, thought the season would end, uh, but I just want to acknowledge the players. You did a great job and you stuck with it. You did your very best and you should feel proud to be the co-champions for this year's Flyers Cup. We know we are of you, so congratulations. I also want to congratulate high school uh, business students Tegan Therrett and Alexander Berger, who finished first overall in the Central PA region in the 2020 stock market game. Congratulations to both of you. And kudos to high school junior Morgan King, who created a children's story time where she and other volunteers read stories via video for young children who are stuck in the hospitals during this quarantine. This remarkable video features students and staff and truly embodies the community aspect of our COCO principals. Congratulations as well go out to seniors Amber Bell, Luke Shepard, Ethan Rogers, Thomas Johnson, Mia Cooper, Jay Rodriguez, and Riley Bertoni, who on the April 15th Spring Signing Day committed to continue their athletic and academic careers in college. If you want to see a highlight of that, uh, you can go to Mr. Govern's Twitter account and uh, he has a video there for you of that. And speaking of seniors, a great video tribute to the high school Hershey High School class of 2020 was created by Hershey High School sophomore Mallory Gillespie. If you haven't seen the wonderful work Mallory created, we've embedded it into our coronavirus update page on the district website. I just personally want to thank Mallory uh, for taking that initiative uh, upon herself and caring so much about her classmates. And also thank you to all the other students and the, the faculty that participated in that. It was truly a heartwarming video, an appreciation and an acknowledgement of our seniors who um, obviously are, are having a difficult time right now knowing that things are going to be very different with regard to their their end of their year and uh, this video from Mallory is something that I, I know you will cherish uh, for years to come and so uh, please celebrate on many of these accomplishments uh, we are still learning we are still um, celebrating the accomplishments and showing the accomplishments of our students and so I just wanted to end um, today's video message with another story and it's a story of encouragement um, so indulge me and listen two men were seriously ill they occupied the same room in the hospital one of them was lying in the bed near the only window in the room every day he was allowed to spend some time sitting up in his bed to help drain the fluid from his lungs the other man was forced to spend all of his days flat on his back. They talked a lot about their life, families, jobs, vacations. And every time when the first man was sitting by the window, he described in details all that he saw outside his window. His roommate always looked for those moments when his world was broadened and brightened by the world outside. Amazing views of a park with a beautiful lake could be seen from the window of their room. Children delightfully played among ducks and swans. Couples walked arm in arm among colorful flowers. Also, the stunning skyline could be seen. When the man by the window had been 
thoroughly describing all that was happening outside the window, his roommate would close his eyes and imagined all the beautiful scenes of life that were told to him. One night, the man whose bed was near the window died peacefully during sleep, and his roommate was very sad. After some time, when the nurse came to visit him, he asked if he could be moved next to the window. The nurse agreed and kindly made the switch. And when she left, the man slowly and painfully propped himself up on one elbow and took the first look at the world outside. He was stunned. The window faced a blank wall. When the nurse came to visit him the next time, he told her about the beautiful things outside the window that his roommate had described to him. The nurse replied to his roommate and, and told him that his roommate was a blind man. She said, he probably just tried to encourage you. And I want to just leave all of us with that message. What can we do to encourage one another, to lift one another up during a time if we notice or we know or we, someone comes to our mind, reach out to them, say hi, let them know you're thinking about them, let them know you care about them, and let them know that they matter. I want to let you know that I do care about each and every one of you. You're very important to, to me, to our teachers, our staff, our administrators. We care about you. And I just want to encourage you today, encourage you to look at the positives, to see the positives during a difficult time. And let's focus on those. So as we go into this weekend, let's continue to lift one another up, encourage one another. And I hope that you'll have a great weekend and get out and enjoy the beautiful weather that is coming. Take care, and we'll talk to you next week.